Hey, it's good to see you. Today we're back in Walmart. I didn't plan to be back here so soon, but I got an idea for a video and I'm gonna need some stuff in order to make it. I'm going to do something with coffee. I'm not gonna tell you what. Announcements. Yeah, I, I need to get a coffee maker and we need to get some coffee. I came over here now first I have to tell you I, I hate coffee I hate everything about it except the way the coffee beans smell um, because of my misophonia I have a lot of triggers associated with coffee um, so I don't really know anything about coffee beyond I do know how to make it because that was one of my chores as a kid was to make coffee um, but I don't have a coffee maker or anything I, I know how to make it, but I don't know much else about it. But it amazes me when I look at all the different appliances that you can get to make coffee with. I mean, there's just, it's unbelievable. Of course, you have all the little K-cup things, the Keurig things like this. And it's really changed a lot over the last, I don't know, probably 20 years or so. You have, ooh, Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. And they have really fancy little gadgets here where you can make your coffee and then they have all the little uh, accessories and whatnot that go with your individual coffee makers. Um, but no, I, I need a coffee maker. It doesn't have to be fancy. I don't really care. So we're going to get the cheapest one they have, which I guess would be this one. It's $8.88. So let's grab this one. 888 I can live I can live with that now what do we get for that well that's in Spanish five cup coffee maker automatic pause and serve function easy to fill water reservoir dishwasher safe carafe removable filter basket you know I probably need some some filters don't I yeah I know let's see um, well, the one dollar ones are gone. Just these are brown, so that means they're healthier, right? Like brown white rice and white rice, they're they're not bleached, so I'm not gonna get cancer or whatever. Um, it said it had a basket, right? Okay, yeah, it's a basket, all right. But you have um, all these things here. How much are these? This one's $89, it's from Cuisinart, and they have a bun, a coffee maker. How much is that one? Ooh, that one's $99. Um, and then they have French press stuff. My ex was a coffee snob. He, um, he had several different things like this to make coffee with, like fancy little coffee stuff. And I don't, I don't really understand the fast the fascination with coffee although I know it's what the heck is that I know it's a a very popular drink I've never it's a little pour over now why is that more than a coffee maker <laughs> this thing is 1944 my god okay you could get a whole coffee maker for less than that like less than half so now that I have my coffee maker, we're gonna go over and actually look at some coffee. All right, now we're over in the coffee section and it goes a long way. You start up here at the beginning of the aisle with these, um, these are the little K-cup things. Um, like we have Starbucks stuff. I mean, obviously this isn't going to be something I need because I'm just gonna brew some coffee. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't need this. But they have Pete's Coffee, French Roast, House Blend, ew, and Veranda, Veranda Blend. I don't know why, but that just sounds good. <laughs> Sumatra, Single Origin Coffee. That's a dark roast. That's pretty cool. You get, well, you get 16 of them for $19.98. And that is in dollars. There were several people commented on my last 
video in here about how expensive everything was. Just remember these are US dollars. Um, now you do get 30, you can get 32 for $19.98. And they have Dunkin' Donuts, coffee, Folgers, Newman's, oh I didn't know he made coffee too. Newman's own organic special blend. And then McCafe, the McDonald's stuff, and down there they have Folgers again. I think maybe this is supposed to be down there. Oh, somebody opened it. <laughs> I think somebody got desperate for some coffee or something. Oh, and here we have Green Mountain. I'm not familiar with all these brands. We have Sam's Choice. This is an organic Ethiopia something you're I cannot pronounce that I'm not smart enough to drink coffee I can't pronounce these things here's one that's cinnamon roll Ooh. I don't know if that would be wonderful or terrible it's hard to say hazelnut oh macadamia cookie that sounds good Kahlua coffee Nantucket blend. I guess you just really, a lot of these, you probably just have to try them and see what you like. Goodness gracious, look at that. You can get uh, great value donut shop coffee for $25, but you get 96 of them for that price. And up there they have the entertainment collection. French roast. And down here we have... <laughs> Death Wish Coffee. Death Cups. The world's strongest coffee. Now, why would you buy that? I don't know, but it's $17.97. And they have Krispy Kreme Coffee. Ray of Strong Coffee. I'm not intense enough to drink coffee either. Yeah, they have a lot of... Uh, great value. Ooh, they have blonde. Nice. I guess that's just really light. And then stuck here in the middle, we have weird stuff. I don't what is this? Cafe Espresso. It's a little capsule that doesn't fit on the shelf too well, apparently. Ooh, look at that. Coffee shot. Oh, I guess you put this in there or you just, oh no, you just drink it. It's ready to drink coffee. For $2, you can get this little Hershey's chocolate latte. Or you can get a four pack for $6.98 of vanilla, a vanilla latte. Cold brew coffee blend concentrate. Hot house blend. God almighty, that's $7.58. Are you serious? Ketogenic coffee? Really? Now, y'all are just getting a little ridiculous with coffee. I mean, come on now. What's this? It's a filter. I don't care about that. Those are cute, though. Look at the little paper filters. It's like little ketchup. Just get you some ketchup cups at McDonald's or wherever. Burger King. I don't know. Here's a... J I always pronounce this wrong. Javelia? My mom used to buy this stuff. It was coffee that she ordered. She ordered it online and they actually even sent her this nice coffee maker and these little cups and yeah, it was a whole thing. Oh, this is heavy. These are very heavy. Six liquid pods. Huh. Java House, cold. So these are all cold brew coffee things. Good lord, we have Green Mountain. Ju I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I will call it Fred. Donut Shop, House Blend, Dunkin' Donuts, McCafe, Starbucks. Great day. And here's a frappe mix. Here's a cookies and cream frappe. Wow. And then we have all the flavorings, of course. Salted caramel, hazelnut, vanilla. This is all I'm used to right here. So all my mom ever had was a, a thing of Coffee Mate. It's plain old Coffee Mate. Usually she drank it just with a little bit of sugar, though. 
and they have little containers of half and half. Huh. What's the difference here? Oh, this one has sugar in it, and this one's sugar-free. I wondered why they were different colors. You can get espresso beans. Marbled, chocolate-covered espresso beans. That's a little bit too involved for me. And, and then, I think somebody just left their cup here. I don't think that's for sale. <laughs> More cold brew, coconut caramel crunch, Ethiopian, Colombian, decaf, Sumatran, and vanilla macadamia nut. Wow, and you can get a flask? I don't think that's supposed to be there. I wouldn't put coffee in that, it'd burn your hand. Okay, now we're talking. I wanted to look at some of the different bags of ground coffee because I have to make it. Um, and the video is not going to feature me making it. That's not something I'm doing. But um, now that's Dunkin' Donuts, and you, of course you get different sizes, and you can get different flavors like pr uh, French vanilla. Here's the Pete's Major Dickinsons. That sounds like an insult. It's like a polite way to say something bad about somebody. House blend. 738. It looks like they're all 738 here. This one's Big Bang. Vibrant blast of tropical fruit in a smooth medium style. Or Columbia Luminosa. Light sweet suggestions of passion flower and stone fruit. It sounds like we're looking at wine or something. The Major Dickinson's. <laughs> Incomparable World Blend, rich, complex, and full-bodied. Duncan Turbo. Ooh. And New England Coffee. Ooh, hazelnut cream. I love hazelnut stuff. Seattle's Best. Dark Roast. Organic Fair Trade. Ooh, French Vanilla. That's good. Chocolate Cappuccino. These are 11 ounce bags, and they're three. They're only 378. Here's the Javelia. Oh, I said I was gonna call it Fred. Here's Fred in Colombian house blend, traditional roast, and you can get them either mild, medium, dark, and bold. Espresso roast and great value again. And the way I always remember it as a kid was the big metal cans, like chock full of nuts here. <laughs> oh yeah. The big, um, we used to get the big metal cans, Maxwell House. Oh yeah. Folgers or Maxwell House. That's what my mom would always get. And over here we have Sumatra Man, Man, Dulling, I don't know. And then we have whole bean that you have to grind yourself. Yeah, my ex had this fancy coffee grinder and different machines and he was like Walter White but with coffee. I don't know, I guess it was good. I I don't drink coffee, so and good old decaf Folgers crystals. <laughs> Oh my gosh, do they still make Sanka? Oh, Nescafe and Taster's Choice. I'm looking to see if they still make Sanka. I remember every now and then my mom would buy Sanka, but I don't see it. These are filter packs. Oh, here you don't have to even have the filter. You just stick that in there. Ketogenic, here's that ketogenic coffee again. Okay, fair trade coffee, organic grass-fed butter, medium chain triglycerides. This is too early in the morning for this. Well, it doesn't come in glass anymore. It comes in plastic now. Here's a cute little container, Folgers Classic Roast. And here we have these are these are not metal cans anymore, but you can get the. 
classic roast. Hey, here's the brick. Any, I remember the bricks. I remember when these first came out and they were, they were just revolutionary. The vacuum sealed brick of coffee. <laughs> I used to love the way it smelled when you first opened this. The only thing I like about coffee is the way the beans smell. That's 343. Ooh, that one got sealed funny. <laughs> Oh, the box got messed up. You can even get half calf. Gourmet Supreme Black Silk. Wow. Original roast. This is when you're just not you're not kidding anybody. Like, look, I don't care. Just just give me a cup of coffee. This is only $4.73 for this 30.5 ounce tub of coffee. Not bad. And oh, they have filters over here too. This looks like a yummy treat, but it's coffee. Natural chocolate. Flavored ground coffee with other natural flavors. I bet that smells so good. Now you can go to, these are whole beans, I believe. Yeah, they are. You can go to other stores and, and scoop your beans out of bins, you know, and it smells so good over there. I remember my mom grinding eight o'clock bean coffee at the grocery store when I was a kid. She would, you know, you take the, the bag and you pour it in the grinder and you put the thing under it and you grind it right there in the store. Look at this, Dunkin' Donuts, that's an interesting container. It looks like a container of Clorox wipes or something. <laughs> or diaper wipes, maybe. <laughs> McCafe breakfast blend. Premium roast. These are big. These are $8.94. And then you have the big um, containers of Folgers, which are cool because they have handles, which I like that. This is black silk. It looks like a dark, dark roast coffee. This are eleven sixty-eight. I remember this too. This still comes in a metal can. Cafe Bustello. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I remember back when I used to work in a grocery store, we had this in there. I think that's what it was. Lavazza. Ooh, Italian. I'm not familiar with that one. Starbucks French Rose. That's seven ninety-eight already ground up. Pike Place Roast. So, yeah, I have to I have to pick one. I don't even know what to pick. I'm thinking maybe I should pick one that would smell good. Mash up. Ooh. Sumatra in Peru. I don't think so. I want one that's going to smell great. I'm kind of leaning toward, um, this chocolate cappuccino sounds good. Or maybe, maybe this natural chocolate. I think I'll go with this one. But I'm going to have to get some more coffee stuff beyond this. But I do need something to brew. So I'm going to go with, I think, this one. That just sounds like it might be good. I don't need the K-Cups, although I have to say they have a, an impressive selection of these things. Look at that. They have Nescafe down there. Coffee Mate. Oh, this is interesting. They have um, a two-in-one coffee creamer. That um, So I guess two-in-one coffee creamer. So is there coffee in it too, or is it just hazelnut? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Donut shop. That's a cute little box. I like that. Looks like a box of donuts. <laughs> oh, I didn't see this one. Caribou coffee. Yeah. I've seen caribou coffee before. All right. Anyway, that's pretty good. So I'm going to have to look through some more of the coffee stuff and pick out a few more things for my video. And I will see you later. Thank you for coming and looking at this stuff with me.